بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم Welcome to Season 4 of Once Upon a Crescent, a Muslim Kids Podcast. Dear kid listeners, these stories are just for you, written and produced by me, your author and narrator, Mrs. Hashmi. Let's switch on our imaginations with today's story. Today's story is called Billu Khan Finds a Balance. This story is a continuation from season one story called Tiger's Territory. Bilu Khan finds a balance. After Bilu Khan awarded his territory to the humble little ant that brought him a gift, he made himself comfortable in a smaller territory nearby. This land was enough for Bilu Khan. It was spacious enough for him to get his daily exercise. And it was just enough land for him to hunt, rest, and relax. Bilu Khan often had visitors that came by to show their appreciation towards this beautifully powerful tiger of the lush forests of Bangladesh. There was one visitor in particular who always claimed to be his cousin, and he loved to be in the company of Bilu Khan. Assalamu alaikum. Hey, cuz. The clouded leopard would call out from way far away. It was his way of announcing his presence. <sighs> Bilu Khan grumbled. Wa alaikum assalam, Zayn. Why are you here now? Zayn the clouded leopard smirked and leaped onto Bilu Khan's back. You know why. You know you secretly love my visits, Mr. Bilu Khan, cousin of mine. Bilu Khan rolled over aggressively, pushing the leopard off his back. Bilu Khan, I know I come by like every other day. No, you come every day. Sometimes it's even twice a day. Yeah, that sounds like me. Well, anyway, I just wanted to tell you that this time around, I brought you a special something. It is my intention and goal to share my meals with you now. I hunt really well, by the way. Here, take a look. Zayn the Clouded Leopard dragged some meat to share with Bilu Khan. Bilu Khan's eyes widened. Mmm, this is a nice surprise, Bilu Khan said, licking his lips. (laughs) The two predator cats sat with one another enjoying their meat. Bilu Khan walked Zayn the Clouded Leopard to the edge of his territory and bid him salam. Jazakallah khairan, Zayn. That was really delicious. Assalamu alaikum until next time. Zayn had a large grin across his face as he exited Bilu Khan's territory. Salima the elephant overheard Bilu Khan's cheerful tone when speaking to Zayn. She immediately stomped towards Zane, the clouded leopard, and blocked his path. So, Zane, you and Bilu Khan are best friends now? What did you do to make him so friendly with you? I'd like to spend some time with the king of the jungle, too. Zane, the clouded leopard, smirked. I just brought him some food, that's all. With that, the clouded leopard happily skipped onto the jungle to settle in for the night. Salima the elephant was struck with an idea. Wow, that makes sense. Bilu Khan does seem to enjoy food. First it was the ant's cake. Now it's the leopard's meat. Uh, I'm going to bring him food too. The next morning, Salima the elephant made her way straight into the tiger's territory. There Bilu Khan was slurping on some cool, refreshing water. Assalamu alaikum. What brings you here today to my territory? Bilu Khan asked suspiciously. Salima the elephant came forward, swinging her trunk around. She unraveled her trunk to reveal three large fish that fell to the floor with a large plop. Mmm, what a nice surprise! exclaimed Bilu Khan. He rushed forward to gobble up the fish one by one. Mmm, 
Wow, I usually don't eat around this time. But since this here is a fresh catch of fish that you so graciously brought all the way over to me, I figured why not? Jazakallah khair Salima the elephant for this very thoughtful gesture. Salima the elephant enjoyed being in the company of Bilu Khan. She just watched him in his natural habitat, roaming throughout his territory like the amazing beast he is. Salima the elephant offered to bring more again in a few days. I see you enjoyed that so much. I'll bring you more when I can. Bilu Khan walked Salima the elephant to the edge of his territory and called out to the elephant. <clears throat> Jazakallah khair once more for that nice surprise. I can't wait to see you next time, Salima. Salima the elephant's smile widened as she strolled through the jungle. Hafsa the rhino watched as the elephant happily exited Bilu Khan's territory. She noticed the enormous smile on her face. Hafsa the rhino came charging towards Salima. <laughs> Salima, Salima, how in the world did you get to hang out with Bilu Khan? I've never heard Bilu Khan so happy and cheerful. Salima, Salima, you have to tell me. <coughs> Salima the elephant smiled wide. I saw Zane the clouded leopard drop off some meat, so I did the same. Hafsa the rhino was determined to do the same. The next day, Hafsa the rhino collected meat from the jungle and made it extra special for Bilu Khan. She used her horn to pierce the meat in small little pieces. I bet Bilu Khan has never been gifted meat like this before, Hafsa the rhino proudly thought. She packaged the meat perfectly in a bundle. Hafsa marched right into Bilu Khan's territory with her delicate meat bundle. Bilu Khan was stretching over a few boulders, soaking up the morning sun, when he noticed Hafsa the rhino. Assalamu alaikum, what brings you here? Bilu Khan asked, confused. Hafsa the rhino revealed a meat bundle of round, smooth ground meat and exclaimed, Bilu Khan, I thought you'd like this meat prepared in a new way. Tell me what you think of it. The tiger's jaws opened up wide with his mouth watering with saliva. What a nice surprise this is. <laughs> Bilu Khan quickly read, <clears throat> Bismillah, and completely and totally devoured the meat bundle in moments. Hafsa the rhino was stunned at how quickly and eagerly Bilu Khan gobbled up the meat. He let out a loud <coughs> Oh wow, alhamdulillah, I've been blessed these past days with extra food. It's been such a nice treat. I usually don't eat this much meat, but it's hard to say no when it's just sitting right in front of you. Hafsa the rhino watched Bilu Khan as he scratched his back and rolled to his side. She noticed his belly had grown much larger than she remembered from the last time that she had seen him in a few weeks. Bilu Khan burped once more. <coughs> oh, alhamdulillah. I guess this is proof of how much I enjoyed your delicate prepared meat, dear Hafsa. Hafsa the rhino nodded and turned around to take her leave. She waited for Bilu Khan to walk her out of the territory like he did for Salima the elephant. She was hoping to be in his company a little longer, chatting all the way along to the edge of his territory. But to Hafsa's surprise, Bilu Khan didn't even move an inch. He yawned a great <sighs> big yawn and burped a great big burp and passed a great big... Well, you know what that was, right? Hafsa the rhino was shocked. This is not the same well-mannered Bilu Khan that all the animals knew and loved. 
she took another good look at the big, beastly king of the jungle and wondered, Since when did that belly get so big and droopy? And since when did Biluhan get so easily tired with those big yawns right after? And since when did this big mighty beast let out gas so loud and stinky? Hmm, something isn't right. Hafsa the rhino was lost in thought. Moments later, Zane the clouded leopard pounced into the territory, dragging along meat from his own recent hunt from the jungle. Assalamu alaikum, cuz! Look what I got for you today! It's even better than yesterday's. We're going to take our time eating this meal, right? Biluhan rolled onto his side and grumbled. Uh, wa alaikum assalam, Zane. <clears throat> I'll be right there to enjoy your fresh-smelling meat. Oh, I'm just going to take a quick nap. Oh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Just, I'll be right there, okay? Just one more minute. Biluhan nodded off to sleep mid-sentence and was drooling on the floor. Zane the Clouded Leopard awkwardly waited as Biluhan snoozed away. <laughs> wow, he does not look so fierce and cool drooling and napping away like that. Hafsa the Rhino was starting to feel concerned about Biluhan. This just isn't like him. He was so out of it. Hafsa the Rhino inched closer to Biluhan, observing him and whispering to him. Biluhan, what are you feeling right now? Biluhan grumbled. Uh, my stomach is bulging full. I know I'm full, but I just can't say no to the foods you all have been bringing me. Oh, who knew food could be so good, but also so bad. <laughs> Zane the Clouded Leopard chimed in. I knew. I mean, doesn't everybody know that eating too much of something is kind of overdoing it? No offense, Biluhan, but I thought you'd know that too. <laughs> Biluhan growled, annoyed at the leopard. Hafsa the rhino nudged Biluhan to help him get up. What you need is to find a balance. Everyone loves food, Biluhan, but we don't need to feel gross after eating. We should feel energized and fresh. Biluhan listened carefully and asked, Well, how do I know what's too much? Hafsa the rhino nodded. Okay, let's pretend your stomach is a big hole. The rhino used her large horn to dig a large hole in the ground. The animals peered into the hole and saw how deep it sunk into the ground. Hafsa the rhino explained, Okay, according to the Prophet wasallam, who said, No one ever filled a vessel worse than the stomach. Enough for any son of Adam are some morsels or bites of food to keep his back straight. But if it must be, then one-third for his food, one-third for his drink, and one-third for his breath. All three of us will fill this hole with dirt. I'll throw some in. Hapsa the rhino pushed some dirt into the hole. Mm-hmm, one-third for food, she announced. Zane the clouded leopard pushed in some dirt into the hole too. One third for some water. Biluhan peered into the hole and took a deep breath. He let out one loud <coughs> Alhamdulillah <sighs> and one third for breath <coughs> and air. He pushed in some dirt. Biluhan got up and strolled with his guests around the territory. Hafsa the rhino and Zane the clouded leopard kept him company until his stomach felt better. Biluhan walked with them to the edge of his territory and thanked them. Jazakallah khair for helping me understand how to find a balance when eating. May Allah reward you for helping out a friend. The clouded leopard pounced back and forth around Biluhan. Oh, okay, I hear you. You said friends. I like that. You're my cuz and you're my friend. 
The mighty tiger chuckled as he watched his friends walk into the jungle. He secretly hoped to see Zane the Clouded Leopard again soon. Jazakallah khair everyone for listening to Once Upon a Crescent and being such a supporter for this podcast. I really want to take a moment to thank all my parents, all the kids that are listening in, those that left reviews, those that shared with others, and most importantly, big shout out to those that support me through Patreon. Every little bit of support helps with this production. Before I sign off from this episode, I'm going to leave you with one little message. This message is for all the kids. Always find a balance.